Former President Donald Trump is back in a New York City courtroom today for day eight of his first criminal trial. In the next few minutes, court will resume after a lunch break. The day began with the jury hearing the Trump team's cross-examination of David Pecker. He is Trump's longtime friend and former publisher of the National Enquirer tabloid. Trump's lawyers are trying to poke holes in Pecker's credibility after he testified yesterday about an arrangement he had with Mr. Trump to suppress negative stories about him during the 2016 presidential campaign and beyond. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Rahima Ellis. She's outside the courthouse for us. Also with us here on set, NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Uh, Rahima, let me start with you. So what has been the focus today of this cross-examination of David Pecker? Kate, to tell you the truth, there have been so many things. But let me tell you something that stood out with me as you talk about what was happening between David Pecker, Donald Trump. There's also that middleman, that's Michael Cohen. They seem to be trying to undermine Michael Cohen's credibility in terms of him being such an important focal point in Donald Trump's business dealings. One of the things that they point out that Pecker made a point, a point to mention in uh, cross-examination, that Michael Cohen was looking, was shopping around for other jobs. And in fact, Pecker testified that Michael Cohen was trying to do a, a business deal with Mark Cuban. He asked Pecker if he would get paparazzi to come to an event and photograph Michael Cohen and, and, and Mark Cuban together in an effort to, again, the, the uh, defense is trying to say that Michael Cohen was not as esteemed in his own business community as he would like to make it appear. Another thing that I thought was very interesting is the fact that they went over how many times that the National Enquirer would do a catch and kill uh, scheme, if you will that there were hundreds and hundreds of times that some of the stories they would publish and others they wouldn't. It was all in an effort to try and undermine the importance of the one deal with Donald Trump. On redirect, that was one of the things very important. The prosecution got him to say, how many of these deals have you done with a presidential candidate? And Pecker said, none. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.